I'm, my name is Mark Gallagher. I'm a cardiologist and interventional electrophysiologist at St. George's Hospital. Uh, ablation is the most effective treatment we have for atrial fibrillation. It is particularly effective in paroxysmal atrial fibrillation and particularly when the paroxysmal atrial fibrillation is of relatively recent onset. Easier in structurally normal hearts, more effective in structurally normal hearts, and more effective in younger patients. However, even in older patients, even in patients in their 70s, uh, even in persistent atrial fibrillation that has been present for a year or two, it is quite effective and is more effective than any of the alternative treatments such as um, antiarrhythmic drugs or just repeated cardioversion. Now, when I speak of ablation, I'm talking about catheter ablation or surgical ablation. There are strengths and weaknesses of either of those approaches, but ablation overall is far more effective than any of the alternative uh, treatments to normalize the rhythm in, a, in atrial fibrillation. Well, it is indicated for the treatment of symptomatic atrial fibrillation. So in the asymptomatic patient, it is still not really clear. There is some evidence to suggest that uh, AF ablation may improve prognosis, but it's not really clear cut, not enough to offer it for that indication alone. It is effective in removing atrial fibrillation and therefore removing the symptoms associated with atrial fibrillation, uh, so it is for the symptoms that we use it. Well, the challenge is to deliver the therapy that is required to enough patients, to do so very safely and effectively to, to cure pe people on their first procedure. At present, we have to do repeat procedures in a substantial proportion of the patients who come for treatment of persistent atrial fibrillation. For paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, we're already pretty good at curing it at the first procedure, but for persistent atrial fibrillation, it often takes two or more. So the big challenge is to cure those patients on the first procedure, um, to cure a larger proportion of them on the first procedure, and to do so with a minimal risk of complication, to keep the risk of all complications below 1%, to keep the mortality of these procedures oh, down to, say, less than 1 in 10,000. That, that would be a realistic um, objective. 